Hi, Tim Munkert here. In this video, I'm going to create a Python program that converts English units to metric units. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to pull up a text editor. I have uh, GVim. You can use whatever you want. So I'm going to start by creating, uh, defining a function. I'm going to say uh, def um, and then the function name. So that should be, uh, in this case, I'm going to call it conversion. And we're going to pass in metric units and English units value. So whatever the metric units we want to convert to and whatever the English value is. Uh, once I create that function, you see at the end I have a colon there and I have to uh, tab in. Uh, indenting is very, very important in Python. The program will throw errors if you don't indent properly. Okay, so let's uh, start. Um, okay, so we're going to have a couple if, elif, else statements. Elif is like else if. So I want to say if metric units equals kilometers, well, then I'm going to do something. I am going to, um, <clears throat> well, I'm going to uh, then take my English units value. And I'm going to create a new variable. Let's call this variable converted value. And I'm going to say that's the English units value uh, times 1.609. Okay. Elif, that's another else if kind of uh, in Python. So elif metric units equals kilograms. Uh, we're going to say that converted value is equal to um, the English units value oops, times, or no, sorry, divided by 2.2. Okay. And we're going to have another LF statement, metric units. I'm going to do three units in this one, uh, kilometers, kilograms, and liters. Um, then the converted value is going to equal the English units value, uh, not time, times uh, 3.78541, okay? And then we'll finally have an else here. And for the else statement, we're going to say something like, well, um, if you didn't enter any of these for metric units, uh, the converted value is going to be uh, we or the program can't understand the metric units entered, something like that. Okay. All right. So at the end of our function, we are going to return the converted value. Okay. And then we're going to go down here and we have to get some of these. Uh, thing. So we want to get the metric units. And so we're going to say the metric units equals, um, let's just say the input, uh, what is the, or what are the metric units uh, you want to convert to? Something like that. And then, uh, then we're going to have the English units value is going to equal, uh, well, we want to float, we want to allow them to enter a decimal of the input. Um, what are, what, or what is the English units value? Something like that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put another parentheses here. Okay. So now we're taking in those, um, and we want to print out an answer. Now, uh, our solution is going to equal our conversion function, uh, taking in the metric units and the English units of value. Um, but we want to convert this to a string. Oops, sorry. 
we want to convert it to a string um, for our solution. Okay, so and then we're going to print something like um, the converted value is, um, and then do a plus here, uh, and we'll concatenate the solution. Um, and then just keep going with this. Uh, so let's say the converted value is the solution. Um, so that's going to be the number. Uh, and then we're going to have to uh, do the string of the metric units. Oh, no, the metric units is a string already. Uh, but between that, actually, I want a, another space. So. And then um, after that, I'll have a period like that. OK, and let's save that. And let's open up a terminal and let's run it. So we'll run Python 3, or we'll run it by typing Python 3 and then the name of the file, which I called dimensional analysis.py. And what is the metric units we want to convert to? Let's say kilometers. Uh, what is the English units value? Let's say five. The converted value is 8.045 kilometers. Let's try it again. This time, let's say kilograms. Uh, what is the English units value? Um, let's say 220. We should get uh, Python rounds a little bit weird, but it should get 100 kilograms. Okay. Next one, let's do it again. What is the English units value you want to convert to? Liters. Let's say we have one gallon. Okay. We get 3.5. 784 78541 liters. Now here's something we want to go down here. Um, so we want to have an if statement here. So we want to say if uh, metric units equals kilometers or metric units equals kilograms or metric units equals liters. Then I want this stuff down here to happen. Um, but if that's not the case else, what I want to happen is we want to print um, just a converted value. Let's create, open the terminal. We'll run this again. Let's say grams. Uh, and we get, we're getting an error in line 22. Uh, print converted value. The name converted value is not defined. Okay. Let's just uh, quit out of that. That's right. Um, the reason being, actually, we don't want to do this. We want to print um, just the solution. I believe. Uh, let's try this again. Um, let's say grams again. What is the English unit value? Program can't understand the metric units measured. Okay, but we can run this again. Uh, let's say now let's do kilograms and let's do 45. And now it converts it um, because it does understand it. It's one of the choices. And uh, that's that's our little program for today. If you uh, enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as a channel would really appreciate it and it would really help the channel grow. Also, if you've already liked or subscribed and hit the bell for notifications, the channel wants to thank you um, and I want to thank you as well. So uh, thanks for watching. If uh, well, stay tuned for the next one. All right.